Hi friends, it's Robin with Palebird Designs, and welcome back to Back to Basics Bootcamp Tumblr Edition. This week we're talking about alcohol inks, and I'm doing an alcohol ink pour that's a little bit different, but it's also really beautiful. We're going to start with 91% alcohol, two to four of your favorite alcohol inks. I'm using a blue and purple and a silver color for just a little extra sparkle, a metallic silver. And you're gonna wanna have a prepped white cup. This is a pre-prepped from the Steel Magnolia. And you're gonna take your 91% alcohol and just pour it all over your cup. This does waste a bit of alcohol, so I don't do it very often, but when I do, it always turns out really pretty. So you're gonna wanna just drip on your inks pretty heavily and let them kinda just naturally fall where they're going to. The alcohol that you put on the cup is gonna help them move. And I like these colors because they do blend and that purple does give us a really nice pink as well, so I don't have to use a third color. And you're just gonna kinda lay them till you feel like you're happy with it. If you wanna add a little bit more alcohol, you can. It will settle into itself, even though you saw those little waves, they go away pretty quickly. And then I don't want my silver to be too pronounced, so I'm only using a little bit of it. I just want it to kinda spread out and give me a little bit extra shimmer. And because I want more of the actual color, you'll see me go in pretty heavily with the inks just to finish it off and let it kind of settle. A little bit more purple. And then I'll let it spin for a little while. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll go ahead and grab my heat press, my heat gun, and keep it pretty far away from my cup. I don't want to focus too much on one area because it will move your inks, but I want a little bit of movement so my lines aren't completely straight. So I will move back and forth pretty quickly. On quick passes, I get a little closer so you'll see that it does move my inks up and down because I want those imperfect lines across the cup. That's the kind of flowy, movementy look I'm going for. And the heat gun helps it dry because it is 91% alcohol please do not use a torch it will catch fire it is pure alcohol and you do not want to set your cup on fire so I use a heat gun it'll help it dry a lot faster and it'll give you that really pretty wavy look so once that's done I will put on my coat of epoxy which of course it didn't record and I mixed a little bit of flash white mica into that first coat once that was dry, I put my decal on, and then it's ready for its final coat of epoxy. Uh, before I put my epoxy on my tumbler, I normally let that alcohol ink layer dry, usually a minimum of an hour, but normally I do it right before I go to bed, and I, then I just epoxy it the next morning, so I'm sure that the alcohol is dry, which it dries really fast, but I like to give it a chance to degas or all of those things that may cause it to repel the ink a little bit or the epoxy a little bit. Just in case, I like to let it sit overnight before I epoxy it. This is a super fun, easy style to do. As you can see on the left, I did one that was in metallic alcohol inks as well. That's metallic yellow, metallic orange, and a metallic red. And it gives you a really pretty, like, deserty at dusk dive design at least i think so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this style and if you try it out please tag me i would love to see what you guys create so this one was a little bit of a short week but if you have any questions please let me know I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you join us for the next week. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, have a great night. Bye, friends.